Hello my golfing friends, Mike Duro at Quail Creek Country Club, answering another golf question we get. What does clearing the hips mean and how can I do it better or do I have to try to do it better? And how does it relate to timing and hitting the ball good? That's what we're all out here for. Okay, to hit that good sweet spot. Okay, many of us think that clearing the hips is just one thing. Get those dang hips out of the way. I've heard it said, show both pockets right here into the camera, or get them, or clear your belt buckle, or belly button, those are all the phrases. But does that really help you hit a golf ball better? And I can say, no, it's probably bad advice. Watch this player try to clear my hips, because if, if I get them really fast, they're gonna also pull my chest out of the way and my poor hands and club head are going to be late. The great Tiger Woods hit a few of those every round. He'd clear too fast, he'd leave his hands behind. It's called a block. What happens is your hips go too fast and your hands drop behind and you block a ball way out to the right. It's no fun, the ball has no power because you have no timing. The timing to me is really this. We all have to get a, our hands to get back in front of us. Okay, so how does clearing and timing work? Well, we all get back and our upper body probably turns three times as far as my hips. Now, we all got to make a little move with our legs, but it's not very big, by the way. It's just a little move. And in doing this little move, our right arm is going to drop back and get back in front of my right hip. If my hips go first, I'm going to get behind my hip. If my hands go all by themselves, they're going to get in front. But the timing in golf is really this. I get back. My Watch this r black pole here. I am shifting and it looks like it's turning because it looks like I'm trying to turn. All I'm doing is moving my weight or, or relocating over just in front of the ball. My leg will lengthen a little bit and this thing will go a little farther, but back to my arms. While I'm doing that, I need my arms to drop in front of me, get pulled down in front of me, lag in front of me, but it's gonna get in front of this hip so that at that point, guess what? You don't have to think anymore. You can't the next part of your swing is let it go but it's going to happen it's going to synchronize better because you can see this if i go hips first i'm way out in front i've lost all my power if i go hands first i have no energy but when you synchronize when you sequence this thing and you go a little shift to my left leg you might feel it in your arch or your heel down but it just gets to your left leg but don't please don't think this game is who can spin or clear the most you will leave that club behind just about every time unless you came from a position of being way over the top then by clearing it might drop in the slot but for most players that's going to leave that club open and weak shots what we want is watch this drill i'm going to meet my own hand and you go well how did i meet that look how i'm right in front of my chest are my hips open yes probably at impact 30 to 40 degrees somebody might just be 20. you know it's not going to be as powerful but it's good enough to hit synchronized shots get back in front of yourself boom now you don't want to keep smacking your hands so here's another drill I'm gonna glance off the top of my hand watch and so clearing your hips does it mean yes getting your belt buckle to target does it mean right knee touching left yes but it happens after you hit the ball all you have to do is shift your right knee will move watch my right knee move about four to five inches and my heel will barely come off the ground that's enough to hit a really good golf ball okay and if your arms can drop in front of you get pulled down in front of you or lag with the right elbow I did I do like this my right forearm is going to drop right back in front of my hip and at that point I can hit it as hard as I want Hogan calls it the green light by the way he said when his arm got back here he was in perfect position he said I can't swing too hard at that point as you can go as hard as you want at that point but if you try to go hard before that it's a terrible thing so let your arms by the way Tiger Woods had to do this drill every once in a while he had to bring his arms in front of him why did he have to do that 
that because he was susceptible to getting too far out in front. So know which side you are. Are you too much arms? You might need more lower body. If you're too much lower body, you might need to let your arms catch up. Okay? And so, get this synchronized again. It's all synchronization sequencing. You get a little bump to the left, your belt buckle will probably rotate a little without even trying. Watch, when my leg lengthens, and you've seen guys on the tour pop their leg, but don't try that either. Just let your leg lengthen, so your lead leg will lengthen, your club will come around. You cannot think in this zone from waist high to waist high, but you can deliver the package, this was Peter's favorite phrase, deliver the package. The package being elbows and wrists dropping right here, just delivering them. If they can deliver to here, just let go, play golf. So try to do that. Think of your arms in the golf club. They go back by your right shoulder and they drop right down here in front of your right pocket with no tension. And there's a good delivery zone and then let it go. Shoo! Good luck to you. You can't think everything in golf. So just try to deliver that right elbow and the club. Good luck to you.